going on? This is David, and uh, I can't sit still. So I've changed up my updated uh, grass hot water system. Instead of having that tank pressurized, what I did is put a hole in it, just a cap to cover it, because I'm using the pump. That's a, one second, it's a 12 watt pump. I'm gonna run that off of my battery, which will be powered by the sun. So I'm trying to keep this all in one big renewable setup. So most of the time you draw from the top of your tank because that's where the hot water rises. But in this situation, I'm, I want as much water as I can get. So I have it drawing from the bottom. And this, it's encircled with heat. So I don't have to too, worry too much about that. If I had coils, I would take it obviously from the top and then uh, run it up this way. But doing it different this way and it works. So I have the water coming out to the pump. I'll probably position that somewhere else and the same thing with my uh, battery I'm gonna make a cover for it so it doesn't sit out there in the element with a solar panel on it that'll be my next objective is put solar on it so this is the IBC tote tank that I cut in half that way when I take my shower I <laughs> check that out my feet don't get muddy and you want to take a bath go ahead take a bath this is concept this is pretty cool I kind of you seen I like that alternative energy where you know I'm using grass clippings they're I got to mow the lawn anyway so why not utilize them and that's what I'm doing so as it gives me heat for my hot shower it'll also give me compost for next year's garden so it's kind of a double thing and check the water out here or the excuse me the compost here is 140 degrees right there so let's go down near the tank That's near the tank, it'll drop down. I just stirred the pile too, so it's still 118. And it's been a week, maybe a week. I'll put it in there, oh, that went up. It's 140. It's gonna naturally be colder near the tank. I literally just filled this with uh, cold water because I tried it out. I didn't take a shower, but I, I ran the pump and it worked good. The water was hot. I mean, not hot enough to burn you, but it was, you could easily take a shower in it. So. That's why here it's a little bit cooler near the tank because it's got cold water in it. It'll, once it, you know, becomes ambient and all gets together, it'll, uh, it'll, it'll equal out. So, and this is, this is the filler. So I'll put my garden hose on there. That way I can fill the system, close it off, draw the water I need. When I'm done, hook it back up, fill it, and just uh, rinse and repeat basically. David Outdoors, utilizing my grass clippings. Renewable energy, got a hot shower. Oh, and if, um, real quick, the other thing I wanted to comment on is with doing a system like this, you could also, for people a little bit more knowledgeable than I am with their hot water, you could have a system like this closer to your house, okay? You can even use a 50 gallon plastic drum, coat it all summer long so it's constantly warm or even hot, say if it's 80 or 90 degrees, and somehow plummet headed towards your inside hot water tank, it only has to bring it up for another 10 to 20 degrees. So you're using renewable energy to warm your hot water and your, your domestic water. And you're only talking about maybe 10 or 20 degrees and you'd be saving so much energy doing that. So, I mean, this is, this is concept for pretty much everything. If you're really into the renewables and, uh, you know, saving a penny i mean this is this system really costs not much the most expensive part is you're going to be your your pump and your battery and you know that tank was free for me but you can get them tanks anywhere for like 20 bucks so this whole package here maybe a hundred and a half with oh i apologize um you've got your you've got your uh pex pipe so that's maybe 20 bucks so, all right so 200 bucks your whole system hot water non-stop just keep adding grass clippings compost i mean you put grass clippings hay straw chick manure cow manure all that and it'll just keep creating heat so this system could go on forever and ever and ever and all you got to do is just keep on top of your compost pile by stirring it and keeping you know keeping fresh compost on it you could throw coffee grounds in which what that does that's nitrogen just gives it a kick so i'm gonna make a cover for that that and we'll get back at you with my new setup here. This is David Outdoors. 
outside, free hot shower, off grid, literally off grid because like I said, just use solar to run it. We got our biogas, lots of gas right there. We've got our hot water. We can cook dinner with the biogas. Why not do it, right? If you guys need any information or I can be assist of assistance, just drop me a comment in the comment below. So please hit the subscribe, hit the like button, notification. So anytime I come up with the renewable energy topics, you'll be the first to know.